Good morning, church. It's Tuesday morning. Take your Bibles and let's go to Acts in chapter number one. We talked about uh, yesterday how that Luke is writing an account of how Christianity was spreading throughout the Roman Empire. And he says, I'm going to begin with Jesus being taken up from us because I've already covered his life and his birth and the things leading up to his death and his resurrection. Now I want to begin with his resurrection and continue on. So he says, the former account I made, O Theophilus, of all the things that Jesus both uh, did and, and what he taught. Notice this in verse 2, until the day in which he was taken up. So Luke ended his uh, account with Jesus being ascended into heaven. Now he gives us a little bit more information about this. And I often wondered why some of the, the disciples in those gospels didn't talk about this, but they didn't. Luke didn't talk about it in his, and now he's going to. John didn't talk about it, neither did Matthew or Mark. Uh, of course, John, when Acts has been written, uh, John wasn't even around. Uh, the, the Gospel of John won't be written uh, until maybe even close to 30 years after uh, the book of Acts is written. But here's what he says. Now notice verse 2. After he, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandment to the apostles which he had chosen. What was the commandment that Jesus gave to the apostles before he ascended? Go make disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things what I've commanded you, and lo, I'll be with you even to the end of the age. And so that was one of the commands. And there were various other commands, but it was after his resurrection, he told the church, now this is your responsibility. Go and do that. Now notice in verse number three, it says, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the time of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. This is the first time that we learn how long was Jesus on the earth from his death and resurrection. So there was three days. Uh, from death to the resurrection. So from his resurrection to the time he ascended, how many days? Well, Luke says 40 days. 40 days. So if you go from the Feast of First Fruits, because Jesus rose again on the Feast of First Fruits, you go 40 days ahead. That's when Jesus was ascended into heaven. He just, uh, and we're going to get to see a little bit of that ascension here in a little bit. We saw it in the book of Matthew, but we're going to see a little bit more here in just a little bit as he describes the ascension. We won't get to see that today, but we will get to see it in the future. That Jesus ascended. So he was on the earth for 40 days. Now that's important because it says that he was clearly seen by many people. Uh, Paul talks about this in, the, in 1 Corinthians 15, if you want a complimentary um, scriptures go to chapter one and read those first few chapters that he talks about how Simon Peter saw him and how James saw him and how over 500 people saw him at one time. Uh, then he talks about others that got to, all the apostles got to see him. Jesus in that 40 days appeared to his disciples. Now we know he appeared to the, the disciples three times very quickly on the first Sunday, the second Sunday, and then shortly thereafter he appeared to the disciples together, but then he appeared for another 20 plus days. He appeared uh, to many people and he taught them. He appeared to two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Now they weren't the apostles, but they were two men that Jesus appeared to. So there were many, many people who saw him and he gave infallible proofs that he was. Infallible proofs means there was absolutely no doubt that it was Jesus who was alive that it was Jesus who died on the cross that is now risen from the dead. So what he's talking about, this is not some make-believe mystical thing that people are, are espousing. No, Jesus rose from the dead. There are many, many, many people who are eyewitnesses of it. Jesus gave infallible proofs it was him who, who, who had died and has now risen again. He says, we know he is alive. And so Theophilus, I, I'm going to write to you what began to happen. And this went on for 40 days. Now that's important because 
on 50 days after first fruit is Pentecost. So that tells us that when Jesus left and went to heaven in the ascension, only 10 days remained before the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. So they would have been in that upper room, uh, depending on how long it took them to get to Jerusalem, they would be in that upper room uh, from, the, from the day Jesus left uh, till, till the day of Pentecost was 10 days. So they'd been at the upper room, you know, seven, eight days, whatever, six, seven, eight days, or maybe all 10 of them. But it would have taken them a day or two to get from where they were at in Galilee back down to Jerusalem. So that gives us a little bit of time frame from Jesus leaving to the Holy Spirit's coming is only 10 days. Well, we'll look at more again uh, on Thursday. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you have given infallible proofs that our faith is not in vain, that we can trust in your word, that, Father, there are many eyewitnesses to the facts that have happened. And yet, Father, I don't even rely as much on the eyewitness account as I do upon what you've done in my own life. Having believed the gospel and how you've transformed me through Christ Jesus gives me absolute assurance that he is alive and that he raised from the dead and that, Father, he is the King of all kings and the Lord over all lords. And it's in his holy name we pray. Amen.